Wabow! Greetings, everybody. Last Outrider here with a new segment I'm calling Fucked Up 40K Facts You Won't Hear One Mind Syndicate Read in Monotone from the Internet. This episode, Marius Calgore crosses the Rubicon. A little fun fact. I only found out about this whole Rubicon story a short time ago. And I honestly thought it was a joke. I'm serious. I thought it was a joke. Um, or and now, now I'm sure it's a joke. <laughs> but this time I know it wasn't a joke of somebody telling me it's a joke by Games Workshop. So I heard somebody say Marius Calgor crossed the Rubicon, and I'm like, okay, that's funny. And then I find out this Primaris Rubicon story, and then I read the little fluff snippet about Vanilla Marines becoming Primaris Marines, and Marius Calgor is the first one to do it. Followed by a hundred different inane theories about why it was Marius Calgor as the first one to undergo to operation. Now, I kind of had to sit there with a straight face, uh, both in person and the absolute absurdity that I've been watching online, until I reached the boiling point and I said, okay, I've got to make a video. I'm sorry. So, get out your number two pencils, your notebooks, an apple for your teacher because I'm going to take you to school. The Rubicon is a river in northern Italy that was crossed by Julius Caesar just before he went to sack Rome. <clears throat> now, for those of you who don't know, Julius Caesar was the commander of the 13th Legion. Yes, and if you also don't know, the Ultramarines are a legion that uses Roman symbology. It's true. And guess which legion they are? You got it. Now, <clears throat> so when I hear Marius Calgor crosses the Rubicon, I don't have to make any educated 40k conspiracy theories about what Games Workshop is planning for the future. I think they've broadcast it to anybody who has any smattering of history education. And then when I read the fluff and I saw how all these Marines are now going to be looking at this as some type of revolutionary uh, 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 treasonous you know, attack of the traditionalists versus the new Marines, and I'm like saying, yeah, yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't need a, a private school education to see what's coming here, people. Um, it, it, <laughs> they, they've announced it to anybody who knows what the hell the Rubicon is. Uh, you've got the old school marines that are scared of the new school marines and represented by the old roman republic <laughs> on terra and the new um caesar age of caesars crossing the rubicon and i guess the next thing we can expect to hear in a year or so is that the high lords of terra free flee terra before, um, I don't know, somebody, Gelemin or, uh, I guess, Marius Calgor marches on Terra. But either way, this isn't even a prediction. This is, from my standpoint, blindingly obvious what the future of 40K is going to be now. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I, I thought I thought it was a joke at first. Uh, you can mark this down as a prediction if you want, but 
we're going to see a, another revolution coming to 40K between the old school Marines and the new school Marines. And uh, the Republic, I guess, represented by the High Lords of Terra versus an autocratic leadership which would be somehow represented by Marius Calgor in the role of Julius Caesar. Or maybe the 500 worlds, I don't know. But like I said, with the fact that they called this, they literally call this crossing, uh, I mean, the, the Rubicon Primaris, it, it's not even a prediction. It's, it's flat out telling you this is what's going to happen. So I, um, I made this video when I found out that almost nobody that I talked to knows what the Rubicon was, followed by checking YouTube and finding that no video mentioned what the Rubicon was, or the significance of the 13th Legion in both Julius Caesar and the Ultramarines and the Roman symbology uh, and just the use of the word Rubicon and the old guard and the new guard. I think it's pretty obvious what's going to happen here, people. So. Uh, that's my little history lesson slash prediction of Warhammer 50k for you. Until next time, bye.